Look, someone's coming. People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. Many thanks. A dragon! People of Radzathan, I am Vritra, and for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. Tis as the Satrap's ally I am known. Today, I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. If I am hearing this right, you were the satrap all along? Vashan! I mean, Master Vitra, that, that does your divine eye really see all? Nay, child. While my eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future I am blind as thee. Countrymen, calamity the likes of which we have never known is come to Fafnir. Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidence. Ahawan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust. This I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Rats at harm to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, Slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. This calamity has stolen too much from you already, yet so long as you live, the light of Radzathan will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it, over you, and lend me your strength, that we might face this trial and those to come as one. 
I do not know you, dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. A sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. Indeed. Excuse me. But I must speak with the Sartrap at once. Father! You have suffered dearly of late, yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzat Han, might be saved. I say again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. I am satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. If I have given offense, then I apologize. First, Allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. Tis an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavnir, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. Escape this star? What madness is this? Tis by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the Red Moon, Dalamud, was revealed that it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. But what of the Silver Moon? This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. A ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction. And by our people, I speak not only of Charlian, we mean to save every man, woman, and child it is within our power to save. Including you, our dear friends of Radzat Han. Recent events necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly, yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star, our father deemed the last bastion of hope? It is for that very reason I come before you and your people to answer any and all of your questions, to offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision swiftly.
They are to be received as honored guests. Worry not. Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm, and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. We'll do as you say, Master Vitra. We believe in you! You're still here. What a relief. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika Stand? Oh no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation, when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Akasha. Yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Yes. Yes, in this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Ah, do you still have that flower? If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. You must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors, and pray you take care. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet, and we will meet again.